Do you buy wine? Of course you do. That's why you're watching me in this video. When you've finished with the bottle, what do you do with it? If you're good, you recycle it. If you don't, you need to take a long, hard look at yourself. Have you ever considered using the bottle again and again and again? As far back as the early 1700s, people would take their own wine bottles to wine shops and fill them up. As I explained to my friend Matthew Rees not long ago. Here we are. This is an old stick and onion bottle. You blow it up like a, a no. balloon. Right. You put the punt in the bottom yeah. to create this surface so it'll sit there right and it goes like that but why would you reuse your wine bottle today i mean glass is easy to get it's easy to make and well it's what makes wine special it takes a huge amount of energy to make glass bottles by cutting down on the number of bottles we use we can help make wine a much more sustainable product the wine show and our friends at when in rome have been working with waitrose to bring you a lovely wine, which is great for your wallet and the environment. I'm here at Waitrose Wallingford to try it for myself. This is great, this is one of my first times in a store like this. Why are Waitrose doing this? This is all about helping our customers shop for less packaging. And we know that's a really, really important issue to our customers. And it's really important to our business as well. So the idea here was, let's test with customers if they're willing to shop in a new way. And the response has been amazing. So how exactly does it work? Well, you just take one of these great swing top bottles. You get it filled up, you take it home and you stick it in the fridge. You'll need to drink it within about three or four days. And once the bottle's empty, just rinse it out with warm water and leave it to dry, ready for you to come and refill it again later. This is a deliciously versatile white wine. It comes from an estate called Quinta do Gradil. It's in the Lisbon region of Portugal. You might not have had wines from there before, but they're so good. Beautiful, warm, slightly peachy fruit. It's, it's really sun-kissed with a touch of acacia honey on it as well. But that's balanced by this fresh wind that comes in from the Atlantic, from the very cool Atlantic, that gives a wine a lift and a zest. Mm. Delicious.